how was your, when did you come up?
way your slip was showing. Hey, what are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Well, something oh. let go when I sat down. I yeah, heard I something, something ripped. I heard that. And it's the ball ball. It might have been the ball. Hey, you heard it? I, I thought it was the bell rubbing against the chair. Well, what do you think? I thought you made it. it. <laughs> Are you Evan? You look so serious.
What a beautiful bride. Joyce, Craig, can you say something for the video? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be married. <laughs> ceremony too really he was yeah that was, was she quiet <laughs> was I, was, that? I was very quiet you were good yes i was very good well yeah. my mother heard the ambulance coming no she heard a siren and she said where's the ambulance <laughs> <laughs> said they're getting ready if somebody faints <laughs> get to kiss the bride thank you <laughs> Wave goodbye to me. <laughs> are you sick of photographers yet? Oh, my cheeks are tired. <laughs> I'm just worried I'm oh, oh. You're so cute in the front seat of that car. The video team is here. Well, I, Okay, you guys have to kiss. <laughs> they didn't like that idea at all. <laughs> Why'd you guys get up here so fast? We sprinted. <laughs> Go ahead, Jen. Craig, I think you're outnumbered. Okay. of his brother and his brand new beautiful wife, Joyce. Well, for those of you who have known Joyce and Craig for a very long time, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think 
what Craig and Joyce share the most, um, other than love and joy together, I think that they also share friendship, which I think is one of the most important things in marriage and relationship. I also do think uh, that they are going to have a very wonderful life together. I think that the support of family and friends will be there to enjoy and theirs to have. Uh, let's all raise a toast to the bride and the groom. Yeah. Thank you. 
Cam. So how does it feel to be married? Good so far. <laughs> Can't complain. You've been married an hour. What do you mean? You're broke. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Where are you headed on your honeymoon? Hawaii. Hawaii. For uh, two weeks. We're going to spend five nights in Oahu, three nights in Hawaii, and six nights on Maui. So it's going to be a lot of fun. We can't Can wait. we carry your bags? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want to see videos. Actually, we got a um, helicopter ride from my uh, grandmother, my aunt, and my uncle on Maui. Helicopter ride? Flying? Gonna, that is going to be wonderful. And they're doing a, they have to give you a videotape of the ride, too. Of the actual ride. So we'll get on. to see it then this winter. Oh, man. You are, that is so <laughs> exciting. Yeah. A lot of fun. Well, uh, until then, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> So anyway, we start. Are you going to fly to San Francisco, or actually, we have a direct flight from Chicago to Honolulu. Wow! So how many hours is that? Eight hours and fifty minutes. Direct? Only eight hours in the air, fifty minutes. Wow. Hour time change. Yeah. So what time? Three and it's gonna feel like nine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they they say don't sleep. Stay up until like nine or ten local time. Yeah. Good. Hookie Lao, that's the only thing I know. Hookie Lao. <laughs> Who's this guy? Who is this guy? That's Brian. That's, a, that's a Brian? Leo. Did you get married today? Did you kiss girls? Yeah. Oh, hi. What's your name? Come here. Come closer. Where do you live? And you were in the wedding party? Now, are you related to somebody? She's your aunt? Wow, you look pretty good. And is this your date behind you here? Do you like boys? And what was your job, sir? Sir? What was your job? Ring bit. Now, what is that like ball bearings? What does that do? I, I'm not sure. A ring for who? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. How does it feel to be married? Great! <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah. Okay, go to your ring. Oh, yeah! Oh, well. We're so excited. You're so... Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. Hey,
Say to the bride and groom. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Okay. Thank you very much. Evan and I already said we aren't gonna dance. You're not gonna dance. Okay. Where are you? Oh, there you are.
but he doesn't know what hit him.
say LL Bean? Those bean boots on there, Joe. LL Bean. <laughs> they are LL Beans. Okay, from LL Bean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got it. Who got it? Oh, he got it. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. <laughs> Craig, you want me to point his phone? Slow. He thinks you're going to take his picture. Jeremiah, back up a few steps, okay? Now, you know what you have to do here. Now, be careful. No, we got another one. I'll move him for you. Go! 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 Thank you very much for letting us be a part of your trip. We had a great time, and you're a wonderful couple. It was just a pleasure to meet you, and, and you know, hopefully we'll develop a friendship in this. And we have some wine and flowers for you, and we just want to thank you very much. It was a very nice affair. No, you got that wrong. The flowers are for Craig. And you know, you we think a lot of you, Craig. Can we call you on? But we hope we wish you continued uh, happiness, and we hope your future is filled with many blessings. Congratulations. What are you doing with my wife? <laughs> I've been personal. I was a sucking sound. <laughs> sucking? I wasn't sucking. <laughs> oh, you guys are preverted. You want to say anything to Craig and Joyce? It's the end of my maid, maid of honor duties, and I'm telling you, housing Joyce. So have a good vacation. Yeah, I heard you did a great job, Joyce. I did a great job. Yeah, I heard it from Joyce. I did a really good job. Yeah, and you did a good job too. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. What is she doing? Just... <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> now, boy, you are giving the many slack, are you? Yeah, I'm sure why she didn't say grandmother. Yeah, I'm the towel, huh? Okay. Hey, Joyce, Judy, your slip is showing. <laughs> Do you want to say anything to those guys? My hands are cold. Yours are a lot worse. Who is this for? Joyce and Craig. How could you? What do I have to say? Good luck. Best. Yeah. Oh wow. Best of luck, guys. Wish you a long and happy life. He was like Corey. He had many, many patients waiting for Joyce. Yeah. Oh, good luck, guys. It took him forever, but he got a good catch. By the way, she's your mother-in-law now. <laughs> what did he say? I brought in nuts. I don't get it. I don't get it. He said, take off my watch. Was working. Oh, so make it as we will. So this morning when I saw them, I saw them. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, thank you. Jackie. Oh, no, your sister? Good luck, maybe? <laughs> good luck would be good. Good luck. Okay. Now, it has been a family tradition for a long, long time since Uncle Roland showed me the song. Oh, yes, their father. I need a good chorus for this song. What I'm going to try to do is relate the story of Joyce and Craig and what's going to happen. Now we all know that today was their happy wedding day. And now comes the honeymoon. You want to sit here? I'll sit up here. What I'm going to try to do is to tell you exactly really? what we I think I got you. <laughs> now listen, my children, for just a short while. I'll tell you a story that'll make you all smile. It's about a young lady, both thin and small. She married a man who had no balls at all. No balls at all. She married a man who had no balls at all. <laughs> now they get to this hotel. You got an answer up there. <laughs> and it's the first night. No. No. <laughs> the very first night that they went into bed, she looked for his and <laughs> she looked for it again and found it quite small looked for his balls and found no balls at all no balls at all no balls at all she married a man who had no balls at all now being perturbed joyce knew there was only one way to go and that was to call mama for help and i can tell her <laughs> Here's what she did. She wrote to her mother and to her she said, He's no relief to my poor maiden head. For my troubles are plenty, my pleasures are small. For I married the man who had no cause at all. No cause at all. I read the 
being a very good mother, she decided she was going to give her good advice. And this is what I read there. Her mother wrote back, and to her she said, Do to your hubby like I did to your dad. For there's plenty of men who come out at first call to help out the man who has no balls at all. No balls at all. No balls at all. She married a man who had no balls at all. not true, but, and now, this is the song I really wanted to sing for the